Hello everyone, I'm Ronald Mehta and welcome back to our channel digiate.com. We are your digital aid and we provide free courses on the subjects of business and marketing. Let's start with how to measure your customer satisfaction level. Customer satisfaction is a sensation of pleasure that a consumer gets when they compare a product or service perceived performance to their expectations. A customer is dissatisfied if the experience he or she has with the product or service does not meet their expectation. If a product or service is able to exceed client's expectations, they are extremely delighted. But usually the customer is pleased or satisfied if the performance of the product meets their expectation. Moving on to a very famous case study of Amazon's one-click technology that got their customers delighted. Known as the one-click checkout way back in early 1999, Amazon secured the one-click patent idea in September 1999. This concept was unheard that customers could enter the shipping and payment information just once and then later any time could simply click a button to buy something without having to re-enter the details that is way back in 1999. This was a major breakthrough in the concept of hassle-free online shopping then. Amazon's proprietary one-click patent made it extremely famous and led on the path from being a bookseller to an e-commerce mammoth that we see today. The one-click technology was extremely valuable because it was refining customer experience in action. Ultimately the patent expired on September 12, 2017 and was placed in public domain and has been used by other e-commerce companies. Moving on, a highly satisfied customer will do the following for you. First, continue purchasing more items as the firm introduces upgraded versions and new products. Next, be less sensitive to the price of the goods. Transactions can become routine over time, potentially costing less to an old and devoted client than a new one. make less of an effort to compete with other companies and finally potential customers talk positively about the product and the firm thus spreading good word of mouth publicity moving on to the aspect of monitoring satisfaction many firms attempt to assess the customer treatment they are seeking for element that influence a client's contentment smart firms take into custom comments in order to change their operations and marketing strategies in order to improve the sales In order to have excellent sales, smart businesses make a point of monitoring customer satisfaction on a regular basis. Now that is typically done through the following methods such as checking regular repeat orders, referrals by one customer to another, customer satisfaction surveys or CSAT surveys, complaint trends if there are any, mystery shopping, net promoter score and customer effort score. We will take a stab of some of these in this video starting with your net promoter score. Companies find out what customers think of them good or bad in between through something called as the net promoter score or nps score customers a single question has been asked how likely is that you would recommend this company or brand to a friend or colleague customers need to answer the question with a number starting from 0 to 10 higher the number more satisfied the customers are and more admired the company is pretty straightforward if the nps is low the company is headed for trouble fred richhild the author creator and business strategist believes that one needs to ask How likely are you to recommend us? Obviously, if you look at the figure from zero to six, the customer will not recommend your product. From seven to eight, you see a smiley that he or she is satisfied with the product. But when it comes to recommendation, it has to be either nine or ten, where it is very likely that she or he may recommend your product. For instance, Apple scores very high on the Net Promoter Score. According to NPS benchmarks, Apple's NPS score in 2022 was a whooping 72, which is extremely higher than the average NPS scores of other electronic companies in the industry. It is important to note that in 2007 its NPS was 58, then in 2016 and 17 the score reached 72. Again, now the score is 72, one of the highest in the technology industry. Apple's revenue as of 2021 stood at a whooping 365.8 billion dollars. Another way of monitoring satisfaction is looking at the customer effort score. Customer effort score refers to the amount of effort a customer needs to exert to get an issue or a problem solved or maybe a product purchase returned or their questions answered. You can generally be measured in a single item metric. The service generally asks question like how easy was it to interact with the company? Answers can range from scale of very easy to very difficult. The belief system is that the customers will be more loyal to any service or product that will be easier to use and the queries are solved instantly. In fact, one of the hospitality major chain that is Ritz Carlton is ranks higher when it comes to the customer effort score or issues being resolved. Moving on, two other methods of uh, monitoring customer satisfaction. First one being CSAT, customer satisfaction score. CSAT surveys measure customer satisfaction with the product or service they receive from you. They can be expressed with a 5 or 7 point scale 
or through binary yes or no answers. CSAT is different from Net Promoter Score, which asks consumers to assess how they feel about a brand or whether they would recommend a brand. And finally is the time to resolution. Time to resolution is the mean length of time customer service staff takes to fix a problem. It is a time the staff takes to issue a ticket after a customer asks for it. TTR is measured in days or business hours. It is measured by summing up the total time taken to resolve all your issues. It is then divided by the total number of issues to find out if the firm is headed for trouble. So that's it folks. This brings an end to the topic and how do you measure the customer satisfaction level? These are the list of sources and links referred to for our content in the video. Thank you and stay tuned for more videos.